Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energy. This is the uh, insulation here, insulation here, 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 and here for all the pieces and the uh, jumpers and everything. And the wires coming back out up here, so we can put that to the rectifiers. That's all done. It's all soldered and routed, and also it uh, comes out the top here and it's super glued. And we got another treat for you. This is the cover that goes on the outside. All the magnets and that nice botched up epoxy job I did before. Uh, somebody gave me three minute epoxy. It was really hard to do while I was on camera. So, anyway. I don't think I lost any of my bolts for sure. But you look down on some of these, you'll see a little bit of rust and pieces of debris sticking to the magnets. I've got to clean all this up and I'm probably going to paint it to protect the uh, neodymium iron boron. Scratches on the neo, uh, uh, through the nickel coating on the neodymium iron boron magnets causes them to degrade and they like rust and corrosion. Uh, neodymium iron boron is a pretty unstable combination of metals and basically we're going to get these off and when we coat these that'll keep them from uh, going bad again anyway i'll see you in a few minutes i'm scott brown with green wind and other home energy okay i found some really high temp uh, epoxy paint and i hit it i hit it at this angle to get this side of the magnets and this angle to hit this side of the magnets if you notice here i'm missing magnets here 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 and also over here that's where the bolts are and I didn't have room to stick them in it's only missing part of the stack like this would be north and then this should have been north but it's gone it's exactly evenly weighted on both sides all the way around so that doesn't upset the balance of it that's what's important this high uh, temp uh, epoxy paint this high temp epoxy paint will hold up for a long time and keep these magnets safe. I cleaned them up best I could. I know I got 99%. It looks like I got a little bit right there. Okay, so I took it out of here and I stuck it over here on this shell instead first. It's much easier to put in. I had knocked a stack of magnets off trying to put it on the other way. Now I can put this back on. Looks pretty nice in there. Decent little gap acts real nice we'll see some voltage out of that in a few minutes alrighty here notice I got the vice grips on here and we've got it all put together well that spin this you're gonna notice kinda spins pretty free not a problem that's because these four wires that I just soldered on are not connected to each other well Let's uh, twist two of them together. Just a little bit. We'll give it a spin. Doesn't go very far. Hmm. Making electricity. And as the juice is, as all the mechanical energy is going into the coils and being shorted out at this end, all the work is being used up and that slows it down. Alrighty. Let's, I just twisted the other two together. Hmm. Boy, that's even better. I like that. A little bit of a difference. I I can tell. I don't think it's my imagination. Let's twist them all together. See what happens. Doesn't go very far at all. <clears throat> it's a quick test. Find out if it's working. We can go ahead and get some AC voltage on this. And then we'll hook up the rectifiers and we'll show you how it works. I still got these pretty long because I haven't put it on the frame yet. I think I'll do that and then I'll hook up the uh, diode rectifiers and show you how to put those together and the, how they kind of work and, and we'll have this thing ready to go. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. One of the reasons why I'm doing this one and because it already has blades carved for it and a frame. Some of you uh, already have your blades and uh, 
probably ordered them from somewhere else or you got something else that you've already done and, uh, I'm going to go through this course. We're going to be carving blades, but some people want to go on and finish building their machine. They want to see uh, they want to see some output anyway. So this is kind of a detour from the course, and going right back into the course, we'll finish up the other one and show some uh, output of the of that device as well. If you look right here to the middle, you'll find I've got a piece of rubber hose that I slit down the side rather than smash it down. This is so when the vice grips went on here, I'm not messing up any threads. Uh, although this is going to have to be re-threaded here. Uh, two threads were stuck in before and then I had it welded and I thought it went in before but the threads had slipped and they were pretty weak. Uh, one wild night of wind and it fell down on the roof and broke off and where I had the tack weld it even broke that but showed no signs of twisting like for turning. So I know it just broke right off. About two and a half to three threads uh, show a little bit different weathering so that's how, that's how I know how many uh, threads were inside. And it wasn't enough. So I'm going to have to uh, put a die, tap down the middle of the other piece uh, on the framework and go ahead and put a die on this and get these threads to match up and then they'll go in and I'm going to take it in about at least five full turns. I want five threads at least. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. There are many good things to you and yours.